Yo, 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 what is up, peeps? How y'all doing? We are in version beta 1.2 underscore 01. Hope y'all have had a good day. Uh, I've been having a pretty good day as well. So, uh, I have some, a few recommendations in some of the comments, and one of them I really liked. One of them was to connect the towers up to the floating island, and... I like that idea a lot, so I'm gonna do that. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna do that. So I think this tower right here, I cleared out some of the island above it, but I think we'll be able to connect to it really easily. So if we go up here, kind of had an idea for this already. Let me take that out. Grab these. We should be able to go up here pretty easily. I think, let's see, how do I want to do this? Something like that should work. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. We'll just take this all the way up and then we'll have easy access to the sky islands. There we go. Nice. Okay, I had to make a little staircase because I ran out of ladder, but we end up right here. And this is actually a really nice view. Uh, it's right next to the uh, little house that generates uh, whenever you create the world. I don't have the chest in here anymore, which is kind of sad, though. But yeah, so we can see there's our little little fort down here. And I say it's looking pretty good, honestly. I like it. Let's uh, let's go back down and. Uh, show off some of the other stuff that was included in this version. All right, here we go. Whee! So one cool thing I want to show off is they added a new painting, but there's not actually any code for it yet. So I have this painting from one that was on the wall over there, and I want to hang it up and see what it looks like. I I think it's a 4x4 four four painting though, so it might take a while. Oh, there we go. Got it. <laughs> so this is what the painting looks like. Uh, it's, it's just using like a placeholder texture. Because the painting's not actually in the game. So we'll leave that there for now and see what painting it is. I already know, but uh, I'll let y'all guess which one it is. The another thing that's changed in this version is uh, slimes have been re-enabled, so we are able to find slimes again. Another change that was made is the squids. Squid spawns got reduced, so they won't be as plentiful. Um, the performance was increased, so not sure exactly what was changed, but definitely feels smooth. But these older versions all feel pretty smooth. Uh, another one sad thing is that squids can no longer be milked like cows. So our squid cake is the last of its kind. And our squid milk bucket. So sadly, that is the, the last of its kind right here. Uh, the only other thing that was really changed in this version was some of the just some bug fixes. They fix some lighting issues and some chunk uh, errors and stuff like that. And uh, torches and rails were being a little little janky when being placed, so those have been fixed as well. I need to go around and actually light up the inside of these walls, because uh, it's making cave noises and there's mobs spawning inside our walls. They're inside the walls! So, I'm gonna go fix that real quick. Let me grab some spare torches. Bada bing, bada boom. Alright, let's get to filling those walls in. I also need to fix my diamond armor at some point. It's really, really damaged. But I'm just going to go through here and kind of fix and fill in all of these areas. 
I've also noticed that mobs that are in our walls here, for some reason, are not, like, they don't attack me. I don't know why. If I get close, he hits me. Oh, nope. this dude's attacking me. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure what causes them to just kind of freeze in place sometimes. And there we go. I've done a full loop. And with the whole, whole wall area up. I'm uh, not sure what I want to do with this area. It's kind of just floating for now. Um, I could connect these pillars down. Or not. Uh, don't know why that's not working. Interesting. But yeah, for now, I think that's all that is really interesting in this version. I think we should go ahead and see what the next one has for us. Alright, we are in beta version 1.2 underscore 02. In this version, they added a cool little like debug feature that was taken out very quickly to generate huge screenshots. And they renamed the ink sack from squids uh, from like S-A-C-K to S-A-C. So let me see if I can, yeah, so that is now Ink Sack. And they renamed the Cocoa Beans, which we don't have any in our world yet, because we can't get them yet, from uh, COCO Beans to COCOA. I might be spelling that wrong, actually. But yeah, they renamed them. And the skins in this version now actually connect to the Amazon servers, so you can see your skins, but... We've always been able to see my skin due to the Betacraft stuff. And the only other really interesting thing that changed was the lapis change. Uh, I went to see where our void is. Because I wanted to go see if we can find some lapis ore. I don't think it generated in these old chunks, but I could be wrong. Uh, let's see, it's right over here. So I believe it was right down here. Oh wait, no. I remember. It was in our house. That's right. Okay, all the way back. Also, just want to note in, uh... Hey, chill. In Minecraft uh, 1.2... I believe it was. They added green dye back whenever you would melt cactuses. Uh, I didn't get any because they removed it in these versions and I didn't want to have anything crash my world more. So I'm definitely going to get them as soon as they're added back though. Oh, I hear some lighting errors right here. Boop. There we go. And some more. Nice, here we are. Our void portal. This this area is sick. <laughs> um, I don't see any lapis though, so sadly I don't think it is here. I do gotta say that this area is like, I don't know, it's, it's terrifying. Like, sneaking over the void. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I that that's uh that's scary right there. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Okay, I don't know if this is just me, but for some reason, like voids in video games just give me like a really uneasy feeling in my stomach, like a uncanny feeling. I don't know if that's just me or is that something y'all can relate to as well. I actually had a really weird dream once. I had a dream I was like, I don't remember what it was. I was like at like a car dealership and it was closed and I was trying to get in and I was like, oh, I know how I can get in. And so I just like clipped through the map of real life and there was like an infinite void below me and I was like hanging onto a ledge, like shimmying across under the map and I like climbed back up on the other side. 
and yeah, I don't know. It was just so realistic. It was it's terrifying. Uh, that's all it really I think we have for this version. The only thing I can think of is I'd like to go get oh spiders falling from the sky. I'd like to go get one of those super super HD screenshots and see what that's about. So let's go try that. Let's go up to the sky island here. Here we are. And there's some chunk borders and some some stuff. Let's find out. Let's find a good spot to take a picture from. Uh okay, I think over there would be a good spot. Let's see how we can get around. There we go. And break that. I don't want to break any of the blocks up here because I want to keep as much of this area intact as I can. Uh, let's go right here. Or, oh wait, hold up. No, no, I know it would be awesome. A uh, view of the pyramid, that would be cool. How do I want to get over there? I can see the pyramid in the background right there. Okay, I'm going to go build a little bridge across here and then destroy it as I go across. I actually think it'd be really cool to come up here and build some stuff up here, like maybe some houses and uh, build some bridges like in between these islands. I think that'd be really cool. There we go. All right. Ah, snap. Yeah, that is a spooky cave noise. That is, this is it. This is the view I want. <laughs> uh, see, okay, there is an F1 key, so I can get rid of my HUD. So let me, let me try that real quick. The F1 and then shift F2. Oh, 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 that seizure alert. Is that it? Okay. Well, let's check that out real quick. And uh, go ahead and switch to the next version. Okay, well this file is 1.8 gigabytes and it's, uh, it's loading up right now. There we are. So... <laughs> uh, I don't... What is that resolution? 36450 by 17700? That's insane. So we should be able to just like zoom in. That's that's crazy. Holy. That's actually really cool. Uh let's see, where's the hand? Yeah. Wow. So I can like zoom in all the way in and like I can see that those are grass blocks. Oh my gosh. Uh you can zoom in all the way onto the top block of the pyramid. That's really cool. Can check out the leaves over here. And the flowers. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh man. Okay. Well. Wow. That's really cool. Let's check out these sheep here. That's crazy. That's mind blowing. Alright. I've had enough fun. Let's go to the next version. Alright, so the next version here is beta 1.2 underscore 2. This was a dev build, I think not released for like the Sony Xperia, the uh, phone with like the, uh, what was it? I actually had one. Um, it was the phone with the controller uh, built into it. It was really cool. Uh, they should actually make a new one. That would be really, really cool. But this is for dev 20110517. I've never launched this, so let's see what this is about. I know there's no like title screen. Yeah, it just throws you into a world. Um, let's see. You also can't open the inventory, and there's these uh, AI Steves gonna gonna go build something for us. So let's uh. Let's check them out, see what they got. 
Okay, they can actually break blocks and replace them, which is kind of cool. Oh, that one shot up to the moon. <laughs> what the heck? They're crazy with it. Oh, one Steve made it up to the top. Nice. They keep getting stuck inside the walls. I actually wonder if you can, you can punch them. Hold up. Nope. Can't can't attack them. You can help them out though. A lot of them just kind of seem stuck at the bottom here. Uh, Y'all need some help? There you go. Oh man, they got hops. That Steve just jumped up three blocks. Look at him go. What is, what is he doing? What are you doing over there? There's nothing there, my friend. You can push them around. So you can you can nudge them around. Oh! And uh, apparently they explode. Let's see, is this one going to explode? Doesn't seem like it. What about you? Oh, there it goes. Oh, man. Doesn't seem like the explosion hurts you. And uh, they just respawn over here, and then they'll come back. So that's the... Uh, that's these guys. Let's check the controls. Yeah, there's no... Sadly, there's no... What do you call it? Inventory button. But, that's nothing a little mods can't fix. So... I'll be right back. I'm going to modify this version. And by that, I mean I'm going to use the Omni Archive mod. And check out the stuff that has been re enabled that's hidden in this version. Oh, apparently, if you save and quit, it reloads the world. And there's nothing here now. So I, I think, yeah, they're just going to try and build it from scratch. Interesting. Alright, so we got the this version, the dev version of 1.2 underscore 02 modified to run. One thing you'll notice is the F here, or yeah, so there's an F here instead of an E, so it's mind, Minecraft. Uh, it looks like it's just copied from this. And we can actually load up worlds. So, I'm a little nervous to load my world. But, you never know till you try. So, I'm going to load a different world. <laughs> Let's uh, create a new world, just to test stuff out real quick. So, let's see. Bunch of lighting errors. Uh, there's actually commands on this mod, so I believe if we do this... Oh, hey, here's one of the uh, actual buildings I wanted to check out. So, this is like one of the things that can generate in this version. Uh, let me give myself a pick real quick. I, I, I just turned on instant mine, so that'll work. So yeah, we can open these up, and they're just like hollow, hollow brick structures. Pretty interesting. Uh, let's see, is there a fly command? Ah, there is. Okay, that makes this way easier. So there is one thing that apparently ravines can actually generate in this version. Which I think we just found one. Very cool, very cool. These are very interesting looking ravines. And there's some more of these uh, brick structures. Ah, here we go. This is uh, the item... I was looking for. So there's actual coral in this version. Um, also, I lost my skin. <laughs> um, so we can break these, pick these up. You can also just spawn them in, but they are just coral blocks. Also, the inventory is working again. So if we go to here, we can go to inventory and do that. Also, it looked like there was more options. Yeah, there's a fancy graphics. Oh, the flyby. Okay, interesting. We'll have to test that out. 
But as you can see, the coral block is actually bigger than other blocks. Let me see if I can show that off a little better. Get this stuff out of here. So this sand and then this coral block. You can see it's uh, it's about one pixel bigger on every side. Also, I think it is a random color just depending on the position. It seems like it. Yeah. They kind of look like leaves. Uh, the reason Notch never put these in the game is because he couldn't make a good texture. But I think it looks pretty cool. So there is actually some commands um, I can test out real quick. I don't know if you can copy paste. So it's so it should be spawn secret builder. Maybe hold up. Oh, there we go. Hey, so it's a. I think there's a space between secret and builder. So there's one of them. This is the main one. And this one should be the other option. Oh, there we go. So yeah, that one has just... Oh, you can actually hit this one. Oh, you can hit both in this version. Okay, interesting. Can they die, though? Hold up. Let's uh, surround them by cactus. Oh! <laughs> okay, they can die. Um, I don't know where the other one went. There he is. He's just playing the game. Uh, I let's check out the secret flyby mode real quick. So I think I showed off everything. Um, let me. What does grow do? Ah, just grows all crops. Gotcha. See item ninety four. Mm, is it item ninety three? Oh, there it is. So here's the coral right here. There's a bunch of it. So here's an interesting little thing. There's no silk touch in the game, so this is what grass blocks look like. <laughs> They're a little, little goofy. Kind of want to test out that throw command real quick. There we go. Looky there. A bunch of little trees. Alright, let's test out that flyby command and see what that's about. So, options, flyby on. Mm, don't know if that worked. Doesn't seem like it's going to work. Okay, so I couldn't get the flyby mode to work, but I'm going to take a little risk here and load our world. Uh-oh. That's not good. <laughs> It appears we are in the middle of nowhere. Uh, let me see. I think, yeah. Well, actually, no. I think we might be in our world. I see some, some pretty big chunk borders here. Let me try going to zero, zero. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're in our world. Okay. Just spawned us in the middle of nowhere for no for some reason. Well, here we are. This is actually a good opportunity to uh, check out our our base. This is the uh, this is what the base looks like if you could fly. I'd say it's looking pretty cool. Definitely got a unique aesthetic. Let's try spawning in one of the. Uh, Builders. If we do spawn secret builder, and there it is. So this is uh, this is very cursed. Let's do the uh, let's do the secret builder too. There we go. Nice. We got Steve's back in our world. It's just like the good old days. I'm actually going to take a screenshot of that. <laughs> let me wait, let me get some more in. There we go. Nice. That's going to be a good screenshot. Okay. Um I think that's all I need to do. 
So I'm going to go ahead and save and quit. And I'm going to go ahead and switch on over to 1.3. I'm sad I couldn't get the flyby mode working, but that's alright. Alright, we are in beta 1.3 version 1713. This version of 1.3 had some debug code. And also, I don't know why we have a secret level now. Actually, I want, I want to check that out. Let's see what that is. Huh. Yeah, I don't, I don't see what this is supposed to be. I think it was generated. Oh, it's, it is the, it's the world that generates the logo. Okay, that's actually just what the world is titled and generates as. That's cool. Let me go ahead and switch over my inventory as well. So let's load our world and see if it's gonna crash. This is probably going to take a while, as as the smiley face is saying. So beta 1.3 is actually adding a bunch of really cool stuff. I'm probably going to save a lot of it for the next episode because this one's been going on a while. I just want to see if the world's going to crash or not. And I haven't made a backup in a while, so kind of being risky for no reason. Yeah, there we go. All right, we didn't crash. And it seems like everything is looking good. Awesome. Uh, one thing, the graphics look very different. Um, and that is because there is a... Where is the smooth lighting option now? Added by Mr. Messiah, helping out. So now we have cool, fancy, smooth lighting. And it looks really good, not going to lie. So I think... I'm going to probably call it here and we'll check out all the new features in the next episode. But I do want to show y'all, before we end, what the painting was. <laughs> so it's this painting. Um, that's just all I wanted to show off. I will uh, see y'all in the next episode. I hope y'all take care of yourself. Spread some love. And uh, bye-bye.